Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Ramses this day, and welcome back to another video. Today, I really want to talk about another uh, game franchise that that I've been following for the for the last um, let's say about seven or eight years, and that is the Brothers in Arms series. Now, Brothers in Arms is one of my favorite franchises of all time for the reason that for this one reason, it has an amazing story. And the sec well actually another thing, it actually has amazing gameplay that I have loved from when I first joined the series in like 2007 when I first played uh, Brothers in Arms Road Hell 30. And then I played Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway on the Xbox 360 when it came out. Or actually I think, I believe it was a year after it came out. No it was actually a couple, a few months after it came out when I got my Xbox 360. Okay I jumped in expecting very similar gameplay to Brothers in Arms, uh, Rutel 30 and Earned in Blood. And I did get that. And then once it's been 7 or 8 years, I believe, or maybe about... I about eight, yes, about 8 years since 2008, since we last had a Brothers in Arms game. Now, it, Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway ended on a major cliffhanger. And I've been wondering ever since. Um, is this game ever going to get the sequel it needs? And to believe, to be honest, um, I don't see it coming anytime soon. I I really hope Gearbox Software, who are the creators of the Brothers in Arms franchise and the the Borderlands series, um, take into consideration that there is a lot of diehard Brothers in Arms like fans out there, people have been, who have been there for years since the original uh, Brothers in Arms game, waiting for them to to hurry up and deliver. The, the final part of Matt Baker's story, which was what's this Last Brothers in Arms game isn't is intended to be, because I don't really see another game after the the, new, the next one based on Matt Baker, who's this guy here I'm playing as right now. We've been playing as him since the the original game Road Till Thirty, except in Earned and Blood, where we played as his, his other uh, teammate uh, Joe Hartsock. I'm not actually sure what your uh, Brothers in Arms uh, Battle of the Bulge is going to come out. It's pretty much something <laughs> I am desperately waiting for because whenever Brothers in Arms Hells or damn it, Brothers in Arms uh, Battle of the Bulge is going to be officially announced, I am going to be seriously so happy. It's going to be like, wow. I'm pretty. It's gonna feel like I'm gonna feel like um what Mel Metal Gear Solid fans are going through at the minute, <laughs> in terms of like the new Metal Gear being released this year. But when Brothers in Arms gets announced, I'm gonna be like one of the happiest people on earth because Brothers in Arms is just something special. I think personally, because it's been long, it's too been too long now since the last installment. And I just think Ubisoft and Gearbox have to get their shit together now and deliver that game because I am desperate for it. You, you guys don't know what it's like to... Well, maybe you do. Um, you don't know what it's like to be desperately waiting for a game a game franchise to return that's been out of in hiding for years since the last one. And I do see the new one happening this... Anyway, at least 2016. So that's kind of my release window. Um, September... Time 2016. So guys, do you think Brothers in Arms will come out in two Brothers in Arms 4 Battle of the Bulge will come out in 2016? That's a pretty that's pretty much a hard, a difficult thing to answer because who knows? Gearbox might wait another few years for the game to come out. Because we well, you know I'm pretty sure they want to make it truly something truly special for the for the the long time supporters of the franchise because I really want the game to do really well and I believe gear I believe in Gearbox software they are a great game company and they did make um, the Borderlands series so it's pretty believable that they can do do this and make us fans so happy because if when they do do that wow I would seriously guys I'll be so happy and hopefully they make it a more a more emotional ending, like we had in Hell's Highway. Because as you know, in the end of Hell's Highway, um, Baker told Hardsock they wouldn't walk again. 
he was paralyzed for life. And to be honest, that was definitely heartbreaking to watch. Um, you can see the emotion in Baker's eyes when he was telling Heartsock this. And wow, yeah, that you know, it was really sad to watch. But you know, Brothers in Arms Hills High was, was the last fantastic Brothers in Arms game that came out way back in 2008. So guys, that's all I have to say pretty much about Brothers, the Brothers in Arms uh, Battle of Abos. Um, you know, my personal opinion on it. I'm actually going to be doing quite a quite a lot of news based around the new, next Brothers in Arms, Arms installment. I might be talking about some of the rumours that might be soon hit um, E3 maybe, possibly 2015, as well as Gamescom and you know other things that Gearbox software will be making appearances at. Uh, hopefully they're not going to talk about another Borderlands, hopefully it's going to be the next Brothers in Arms game. So guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and tell me down in the comment section below on what you thought of the overall video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.